disgusting black creature. <laughs> Sonic is a series that has forever been in the shadow of Mario, desperately copying everything the funny Italian man did, like a BPD e whore mimicking an Asian. Yet it still remained in second place, eventually being reduced to competing for SEO with a fast food place with one and a half employees per building, until the world would change forever. They made Sonic black, gave him a gun, a distinct lack of gun knowledge that even I can pick up on with my cooked Britbong mind and made him hold it sideways because accuracy is for races that live past 30. In Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, Shadow has his emotions completely controlled by a singular six-letter word. Do it. Maria. Now this was deemed too spicy for international audiences, so for Western releases they shortened it to the five-letter, infinitely less harmful Maria. Now I'm a source material type of guy, a real stickler for the original. So I call her Maria. In this definitely not based on any real group game, you are given three choices. Evil, good, and neutral. In neutral, you are a psychopath. So I physically cannot play it for two reasons. One, I'm not a woman. Two, I don't have commitment issues as a result of not being a woman. The evil route where you kill the police. I can't speak any further on this route because I am on several watch lists and all of my lines are tapped. So I'll pass this topic to my close personal friend, Terry Davis. The CIA niggers glow in the dark. You can see them if you're driving. You just run them over. That's what you do. Fucking CIA niggers. Thank you, Terry. Very cool. And the only real route in the game, the good route. Let's show the black creatures that we mean business. You're too slow! Now in a Shadow the Hedgehog game, Edgy the Hedgy, you would gravitate to the evil option because society is cold and uncaring. <laughs> I just fucking hate this world and the human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. But the good option is infinitely more Kino and that good edgy, not that cringy, slitting your wrist faggy shit, that pure driving down the road and randomly screaming nigger out the window, unhinged edgy shit. To partake in the good route, you need to join forces with Sonic and the police to gun down black creatures, nay, disgusting black creatures. The dialogue is a lesson in perfect writing. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. Now that's a top 10 shadow moments, official Sonic the Hedgehog channel video, almost as good as my personal favourite video, Rape Squad. The first thing you may notice about the video game Shadow the Hedgehog the video game is Shadow murdering Sonic with a gun. I however noticed it was released in 2005, really hitting it out the park around this period. And I'm only half joking, because if you were going to be shit, at least be funny. Shadow the Hedgehog is an amassment of incredible designs, such as the music select. Now you would assume this changes the music that plays in the menu, so I want to listen to I Am. I shall now leave the menu. What the fuck? This isn't a music select, it's a menu to listen to the whopping three tracks in the game, until you beat the game and unlock the only good one. I can see the Naruto AMV. It also still ends when you back out. The gameplay itself is a nightmare. This is what the Asians do when they find a black creature and I cannot elaborate more. The camera is inverted, left goes right, right goes left, there's some political message there but I don't care, it's awful. I couldn't be fucked to find a solution, maybe it's just you go in the options and uninvert it, I don't fucking know. However the devs took mercy and decided you only lose 10 rings on hit, making it impossible to ever die, with the exception of succumbing to deep inner hatred. Hatred only furthered by this fucking lunatic. The shit this psycho says makes me do double takes constantly, and consistently on that second take, he is draped in a white sheet. Here are some choice quotes. Hey Shadow, there are still some black creatures left to take out. Eliminate the black aliens. Im Dienste meines Volkes, gib du jetzt deine Stimme ab, wenn ja! Sonic confirmed our guy. 
with the exception of being cripplingly retarded. Shadow just has a casual conversation with the leader and blackest of the creatures right in front of Sonic, and he just responds with this shit. Welcome to the next level. Let's go. Get back here. Three billion people are dead. And you're saying this shit. But less about Blue Hitler, who actually is Aryan, and more about the devs of mercy. They added an ultra, super move you charge by slaughtering black creatures. That successfully skips over half the level, completely fucking up your objective and making you have to redo the entire level. But it's fine, because there's an alternative version for boss battles. Now you may wonder, what are bosses like in Shadow the Hedgehog the video game? This guy twice, and this guy that I couldn't tell you a single move of. There's definitely more in the other routes, but again, not woman and lines tapped. Since I'm locked into the good route, what are the levels like? No bueno. I spent an entire hour on this level trying to find floating heads because there are only a set amount of enemies and you have to kill all of them. There are three, maybe four missions like this on the good route, I don't know, I can't be fuck checking, and then there's the final mission. I do not like the final mission, and the main reason is this. Now what is this? What this is, what it be, is there are two options for completing this level. Getting to this nice fellow over here, who is black, so must die, and activating the four beacons of hatred. They don't have anything to do with hatred, I just fucking hate them because if you accidentally activate one, it blocks you from beating the level. So you have to play through the entire level again, trying to find it, because it does not tell you where or which one it is. And the reward? There he is, the real Black Doom. Cool. The culmination of the fucking torture that is the pure, good root is everything you could ever hope for. Really wraps up all of the story and subplots in a nice little bar. It just ends. That's like it.